Considered a visionary in her field, Jennifer Lawton is a highly respected technologist and company builder, known for fostering innovation, entrepreneurship, and a supportive corporate culture. Currently president of MakerBot, a pioneer in the 3D desktop printing industry, Ms. Lawton is responsible for shaping the global company's overall strategy, growth, and product development. I think she is a leader in the next industrial revolution today. I think as that revolution starts to come in more into view, um, she will continue to be uh, one of the leaders. She's passionate, she's hardcore, she's obsessive, she's committed, and she's a good person to boot. Jennifer Sconyers was born in 1963 in Quantico, Virginia. With her father in the Marine Corps, the family moved around the country on a regular basis, with both parents eventually becoming college professors. I grew up between Virginia and California, North Carolina, Mississippi, New Jersey. I moved to Pennsylvania when I was eight. And I think when you move around a lot, you learn to be pretty flexible. I also was the oldest, oldest child. My brother's eight years younger than me. I was pretty independent. I think that I started early on on the concept that I should be in charge of things and that sort of carried through my life. Jenny excelled in school, loved playing the flute, and was particularly good in math and science. My 10th grade teacher uh, in, in high school had told me that uh, girls were, were not able to do math and that when I took geometry that I would fail because I was a girl. And, uh, and I really wanted to, to stick it to him. So I did. <laughs> Jenny graduated from high school with honors in 1981 and went on to major in applied math at Union College. The classes were probably 80% male. We were all well accepted. It wasn't a problem that there were women in the class, but it was definitely, um, you know, we were definitely a minority. Jennifer graduated from Union College in 1985 and found it difficult to secure her first career position. I couldn't get a job where most people could get engineering jobs. And on top of it, I was a female, and I really feel like that, that, was, um, that was a hard time at then. Jenny found her niche managing computer networks, working for a number of technology companies. She then decided to start her own computer support consulting firm in Boston, Massachusetts. I found a Net Damons Associates probably late in 1991, and uh, did a, just did a lot of really early stage websites. It was a really interesting time. We're involved with, with bringing the internet to the public, and we grew that company to be about five and a half, six million dollar company before I sold it. Jennifer married Tim Lawton in 1988. Their first son, Thomas, was born in 1991. And then I had my second son in January of, of 1994. So the whole time I was growing NDA, I was the mother of two young boys. I met Jenny in December 98 when we were interested in purchasing her business. I thought she was really smart, creative, entrepreneurial. My view was she would be a good executive to bring into the company and help us run building out the internet. After selling her company to Interlion, based in White Plains, New York, Ms. Lawton and her family moved from Boston to Greenwich, Connecticut. Then, 9-11 changed everything. It had a really big impact on me, so I decided that I would get out of the, the go-go world and uh, not go for the next, the next big prize and stay home and do something different. Jenny Lawton decided to become more active in her Connecticut community, buying and managing two bookstores in downtown Greenwich. And had a lot of authors in signing books, and it was very successful. After 10 years of running her successful retail businesses, the newly divorced Ms. Lawton decided it was time to return to the corporate world. Which was a really terrifying experience. You know, after 10 years out of the corporate world to come back was really, really, really hard thing to do. In 2011, she decided to re-enter the technology field, accepting the position of Chief Strategy Officer at Brooklyn-based MakerBot. In just three years, Jenny Lawton has grown the company from 45 to nearly 500 employees. 3D printing is definitely changing the way the world works. It's very disruptive technology. If you have a 3D printer, you can have a factory on your desktop. Whatever you dream up, you can make and, and create, but it really does revolutionize the way engineering can work and prototyping can work. So it really allows people to have an idea and create and make it and bring it to life. In 2013, Jennifer Lawton married Tim Daly and relocated to Fairfield, Connecticut. That same year, she was promoted to president of MakerBot, where she is currently in charge of overall strategy and growth. 
including the opening of the company's first retail storefront, located on Greenwich Avenue in Greenwich, Connecticut. Ms. Lawton was selected as the keynote speaker for the 2013 Women Tech Awards and is credited with leading MakerBot to the forefront of the 3D printing industry. Under her leadership, the company has been selected as one of Time Magazine's Best Inventions of 2012, as well as Popular Mechanics Overall Winner for Best 3D Printer and Popular Sciences Product of the Year. Once you start working here, I think people stay because there's so many opportunities we've created for people to learn from each other and from their mentors. And Jenny is someone who's both setting up the program and acting as a mentor here. Jenny was a wonderful mentor and has been throughout the years. She gave me so many chances. Uh, I was very new to business. I was uh, 21 years old and she recognized that I was a good writer and she helped uh, nurture that skill in me. So by the time I left her organization, I had gone from somebody right out of school to somebody who had a marketable skill set. Being mentored and mentoring people directly or indirectly um, is a way to learn and grow. You always grow more if you can share what you know with other people. Jenny being at MakerBot is incredible to me to see an excellent leader in charge who, you know, working with Brie to lead the organization as a woman is, is so inspiring and it's, uh, I can't say enough about how inspiring that is to me. I always like to tell, to tell young women, I like to tell young anyone, um, that you can do what you want to do if you want to do it and that it's not up to someone else to tell you whether you can or can't do something. It's up to, to whether it's something that you want to do or not. I always like to look at my life as something that I'm in control of. I mean, you can't be in control of everything in your life, but you are in control of your happiness and you are in control of what you do with your life. It sounds like simple advice, but um, if you follow it, you go far.